Robert pays for ratio one, and Lewis pays for ratio two. Uh -huh. they're, splitting the, they're splitting the part. They're splitting the line. Yeah. That's why they dress the light, because the light yeah. is too so long. Oh. Alright, All right, so go for it, guys. Wow. You may use the Lewis card. Remember, once you're in position, let Georgina know, and then she'll keep. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's a nice These are partisans, not swords. <laughs> hey, I got you. Um, is it going to start with, should she focus the camera on you or is someone coming in? I'm going to be here and I'm going to walk and then I'm going to come back. Jason comes out. Oh, okay. uh, so she focuses on you? Yeah. You got it, Jordan? You want whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Who's there? May I answer me, stand and unfold yourself. Long live the king! Bernardo? He? You come most carefully upon your hour. Tis now to twelve. Get thee to bed, Francisco. For this will eat much thanks. Tis bitter cold and I am sick at heart. Have you had quiet, guard? Not a mouse turn. Well, good night. If you do me Horatio or Marcellus, the rivals of my watch, bid them make haste. I think I hear them. Stand hold. Who is this? Press the ground. And lead him into the ding. Give you good night. Oh, for well, honest soldier, who hath relieved you? Bernardo hath my place. Give you good night. Hold up, Barnardo. Say what? Is Horatio there? A piece of... Welcome, Horatio. Welcome, good Marcellus. What? Has this thing appeared again tonight? I have seen nothing. Horatio says this but our fancy and will not let belief take hold of him touching this dreaded sight twice seen of us. Therefore, I have entreated him along with us to watch the minutes of this night that if again this apparition come, he may approve our eyes and speak to it. Touch, touch, to him not appear. Sit down a while and let us assail your ears that are so fortified against a story that we have for two nights seen. Well, sit we down. Let us hear Bernardo speak to Last night's ball, when Yon seemed starlight to whisper from the pole, he made his course to loom that part of heaven, where now it burns Marcellus and myself, the bells and beating one. Peace, break me off! The fire comes again! In the same figure that the king is dead! Not our scholar, speak to it, Horatio! Let's it not at the king right now, Horatio! Most like a hell to a fear and wonder. And we spoke to speak to it, Horatio! For a thousand surfaces in time of night, together with the fair and light form which the majesty of very dead mother sometimes marks. If I have my charge, speak! It is offended! Take slots away! Stay! Speak! Speak! I told thee, speak! Tis gone and will not answer. <laughs> now, Horatio, you tremble and look pale. Tis not just more than a fantasy. What think you want it? For my God, I'm gonna have to believe without the sensible and show about to my own time. Is it not like the king? As thou art to thyself. Such the very armor he had on when he the ambitious Norway combated. So frowned he once when an angry paw, he smote the set of polex on the ice. Tis strange. <coughs> Less twice before and jump at this dead hour with Marshal Stock if he gone by our watch. And what particular thought to work? I know not. But in the gross and scope of mine opinion, this falls some strange eruption to our state. Good now, sit down and tell me he that moves. Why this same streak and most observant watch so nightly towards the subject of this land? Why, and why such daily caps of brazen cannon and forward mark for implements of war? Why such impress of shipwrights whose sore attack does not divide the Sunday from the week? What might be towards that this sweaty haste doth make the night turn labor with the day? Who is it that can tell me? That 